Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today we're gonna to be talking about a question that comes up quite a bit in the groups and that is weighing your wax, trying to fill, trying to figure out exactly how much wax and oil so that you can fill a container perfectly and not have leftover wax or, or not enough wax to go into it. Now this is one that I can't believe I haven't covered before. It's come up in uh, a lot of the groups that I've been in for the last couple of years. And the confusion comes from uh, adding the wax and getting your oil percentage. So basically let's use the basic ratio, the 16 ounces, uh, we're gonna use 10%. So if you're, you're adding 10% to 16 ounces of wax, you're basically doing 1.6 ounces of oil. So if you're taking the 16 ounces of wax, you're adding the 1.6 ounces of oil, you're coming up with 17.6 ounces of, of total wax and oil together. Now, that's not a problem if you're filling some of the three, uh, the eight ounce jelly jars, it's gonna fill three of those just perfect. But the question comes up, what happens if you wanted to fill a jar that, that's exactly 16 ounces? And that becomes a problem because you've got extra wax and oil that's of course not gonna go into that. Now, uh, you could of course just pour a couple melts, but a lot of people like to be exact. And what ends up happening is a lot of people will get their measurements, they'll weigh the 16 ounces of wax, they'll get their percentage, which is 10%, 1.6 ounces, and then they'll actually subtract 1.6 ounces of wax and then add the oil so that they come up with a grand total of 16 ounces. Now, of course, on the surface, this seems just fine. Uh, you're removing the wax, you're adding the oil, you're still coming up with 16 ounces. But what happens is once you remove some of that wax, you've already made calculations on that weight, the 16 ounces. And when you reduce that down to basically 14.4, your oil stays the same and you've essentially uh, increased the oil percentage up to around 11 and percent. This one gets glossed over. It's real easy to just kind of gloss over and not think about this one. Uh, I have definitely done this one. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is because the discussion came up in the group the last week and Maria McDonald actually came back after uh, discussing in one of the threads. Uh, she actually came back with a formula to come up with the exact uh, wax and weight ratio to basically fill a container. So if you're filling a 16 ounce or a 20 ounce or a 30 ounce, this is the formula to come up with exactly how much oil you will need for the wax that goes into it. So we're gonna go ahead and cut right over. I'm gonna get out the uh, the chalkboard again because a lot of people like that one and just do like a quick overview and uh, show the formula on that one. All right, this is a question that comes up quite a bit in the groups. I've seen it around for a long time and it came up the other day and uh, it was discussed in one thread and then it was brought back up and made very clear uh, in another thread by Maria McDonald. So I kind of wanted to go over that with this one uh, because one of the formulas that she posted in there was really good and I wanted to highlight exactly that. So most of the time when you're doing your waxes and you're coming up with your weights, uh, let's call it 16 ounces because that's typically what everybody goes by. 16 ounces of wax, and if you wanna get 10% oil, of course you're gonna do times 0.1, which is 1.6 ounces of oil. What you're gonna do is you're gonna add that 1.6 ounces to the 16, so you're gonna get a grand total of 17.6 ounces of wax and oil. And then of course, if you're pouring that into like the, th uh, the eight ounce jelly jars, you're gonna get three of those but the point has been made. But what happens if you wanna fill a container that is exactly six ounce, or 16 ounces, what do you do? Now, I've seen this come up a lot. What they'll do is they'll take their container, which is 16 ounces, they'll take their oil, which is 1.6, 10, 10 ounces, and they'll subtract the 1.6 from the 16 ounces, which comes up to 14.4 ounces of wax, and then they'll add the 1.6 ounces of oil, which of course equals 16 ounces total. Now, I've seen a lot of people do it this way, and this is definitely not the right way to do this. And the reason why is once you take, basically you made your calculation off of 16 ounces of wax, which is 1.6 ounces. So when you go ahead and remove the wax, you've made enough room to add your oil, but what you've also done is you've, you've also increased your percentage. So 14.4 times 10% is actually 1.4 ounces. So what we've done is you've basically upped your oil percentage and what you're adding isn't 10% anymore, it's actually more like 11.5%. Now, depending on the wax, that may not be a big deal, but if you're going for a certain percentage, like a nine or like a 9%, this is definitely gonna come off, it's gonna be very wrong. Quiet, kitty. 
Now for me, when I've done this before, I've always taken the container, which is 16 ounces, and I've just subtracted two ounces because I knew the oil was gonna be around like one to 1 1.5. which is just under 16 ounces. We're looking at like, we're looking at like just under 16 ounces, 15.95. And for me, that's always been just fine. I've never really cared too much to get exact. Uh, but Maria McDonald actually came up with the formula or posted the formula, which is actually why I wanted to do this video because it was a very good formula, which will calculate exactly how much oil you need in your wax to fill a certain ounce container. So if we're calling that one 16 ounces, so instead of the other one where you multiply by 0 0.10, which is 10%, so with the other formula, you're doing 16 times 0 0.10, which is 10%. So with this one, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add a one, so it's 1.1, and we're gonna divide instead of multiply. So you're gonna do 16 divided by 1.1, which is actually, 14.54. And then if you take the 14.54 times 0.10%, you actually get 1.45, which is exactly 16. So that's going to be the best formula to figure out exactly what you need to do for a 16 ounce container or 32 or whatever container you're putting it into. And of course that works if you want to go up to 12% or drop it down to 8%. So 1.74 ounces of oil, which comes out to exactly 16 ounces once again. So let's go ahead and try that with a 20 ounce jar. So if we wanted to fill this, it was exactly 20 ounces. So if we want to fill the 20 ounce container, we're going to take 20, divide it by 1.1, which will be our 10%, and we're going to get 18.1. And then of course, if we want to get our 10% oil, uh, amount out of that, we're going to multiply by 0 0.10, which comes out to 1.8, which is just under 19. Obviously, these go out a little further. I didn't add those in there, uh, but it comes out to roughly 20 ounces. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope that one, I, I hope I didn't gloss over anything. I gotta rewatch this video. I was trying to keep everything together and kind of calculate everything to make sure I was coming up with all the right calculations with the calculator and on the chalkboard at the same time. So I, I think I got everything covered pretty well in the uh, the chalkboard demonstration. I, I won't know until I watch this back, but that's pretty much it right there. The formula is going to be, you're gonna divide by the percentage that you want, which is gonna be 110, 112, and then you're gonna break that down to 1.1, 1.12. If you're doing 8%, you're going to do 1.08, 9%, 1.09. Uh, and you're actually going to come out with the exact amount of wax that you need to remove from 16 ounces or 20 ounces or whatever the container size is so that you can get the correct amount of oil in there. Now, if you're doing something like 8 or 9% and the wax holds up to 12%, this isn't a huge deal. If you end up with more oil, uh, like if you actually did the 16 ounces, weighed your oil, and then you remove the wax and still had it, uh, you would bump up from 8% to like 9% or 9.5%. It's not gonna be a big deal because that wax can hold that. But if you're doing a wax that has something like 12% and you actually add the 12% oil and then reduce it, you're basically gonna up that to around 13 or 14%, which could affect the candle and you could get a lot more seepage, you could get uh, sweating and beating at the top of the candle. So it's definitely something that you wanna pay attention to. And of course, for those people who are getting down to exact measurements, they know exactly what their candle holds and what they put into each of their candles. This is definitely a formula that you wanna pay attention to. So huge thank you to uh, Maria McDonald who posted the formula in the group. I've always done it crazy ways and I've never even looked up the formula. So it, huge thank Thanks to her for posting that in there. The feedback on the last chalkboard video was really positive, so I wanted to get a couple more of these out. If you have something that you'd like to see a little bit more, uh, or 
basically something that goes into a little bit more detail like this, please let me know in the comments down below and we'll try to add that to an upcoming video. And again, if I glossed over anything in the video or if something wasn't clear enough, and I think I got everything, but I haven't watched this part back yet. So I wanna go through and make sure that I covered everything. If I didn't, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some of the formulas up in the video so that you can see them. But if I did gloss over something or you want something in more detail, please let me know again in the comments down below and I'll try to go through, answer every single one of them and uh, hopefully put it in another video. And of course you can follow me on all the social media platforms listed down below, uh, my website, Instagram, Facebook, uh, my email address if you wanna reach out to me. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.